Hey, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm continuing my beginner series on 3D printing. And today I'm taking a look at bed leveling with Clipper. So let's go ahead and get started. For today's tutorial, I'm going to use a Creality CR10 Smart Pro that I've converted over to Clipper. As you can see, this printer is using a Sprite Pro extruder and a CR Touch. Now, the methodology I'm about to use will work with any printer with any type of bed probe or leveling probe. So with that being said, let's start with our commands. Now for bed leveling on Clipper, you have several different ways you can do this. You could do this via a screen if you have that mounted on your printer. I typically do this via the web interface. In my case, I'm using Mainsail. And as you can see, I also have the printer open so you can see both simultaneously. And the first thing I'm gonna do, let me scroll down a little bit just so you can see the command. First thing I wanna do is I want to home all. Clipper will give me an error if I try doing the probe calibrate without first doing a home. So right now the printer is homing. We'll let that finish and then come back and run our next set of commands. So the printer's homed and now that it's homed, in my case on main sale at least, it shows the home button now in blue. So once it's blue, that means again, all the axes have been homed. I can now type in probe underscore calibrate and so we'll type that in and what that's going to do is probe the bed and then it will move the nozzle over to where the probe was touching the bed and i'm going to do all my probe calibration with my feeler gauge and my feeler gauge is going to be set to 0.005 or 0.13 millimeters. And I'll also post a link in the video description for where I got this feeler gauge. I prefer this much more than paper. I prefer for all my work to have a specific tool rather than have to try and find a piece of paper. The probe window here, I typically don't use any of these plus signs. I just use the actual measurements. I'm going to start off by hitting the negative one and I want to watch the nozzle and when it gets close to the bed I'll change up what I'm doing a little bit. I still have plenty of room till we get to the bed. Now the nozzle's touching the bed and in fact it's too tight so I'm just going to start raising the nozzle up. That's still really tight. I probably went down too far. And right now it's tight, but it feels like the whole print head is moving. So I'm just going to move it up slightly now. I think that feels good. And what that's doing is that's setting the Z offset right where the probe is touching the bed. Now, for me, that feels really good. So I'm just going to hit accept. And what that does is that will update the Z offset and it's setting it to 4.44. And I need to save the configuration. Now I can either type in the command save underscore config or I can go up here and hit the save button. I'm going to hit save and this is going to restart Clipper. And once Clipper restarts, we'll have to home the printer again. And I have some additional steps that I do at this point. So let's home and we'll be right back. So the printer successfully homed again. And now I have some extra code I've set up in my config file. And let me show you that. So if we take a look at the Clipper documentation, I can use this command, this bed screws adjust to adjust each of the corners of the printer. But in order to do that, I actually need to have a bed screw section in my config. In my case, what I did was Google 
the CR10 Smart Pro and find a post where somebody had put the measurements of the bed screws. Now, the other option is I can jog the bed around to get the screw positions. And maybe I'll do another quick video or a short one doing that. But for right now, I'm just going to use the bed screw section and I'll show you that real quickly in my config. So I've opened up my config and there's the bed screw section. And what this is going to allow me to do is move the printer with the bed screws adjust command and go to each spot with the screw and then adjust the corners. So let's switch over and take a look at the printer and we'll complete this process. Uh, the printer is already homed, so I'm just going to put in the bed screws adjust command and that's going to bring up this little window here. Now what this does is this moves the nozzle so it's touching the bed to each corner. Now on the first go round, and I typically do two go round, I go around the bed twice, I use adjusted on the first loop around the bed. So let's go over to the printer and I'm just gonna run the feeler gauge under the nozzle and I'm moving the bed up slightly. So I've moved the bed up slightly and I'm just going to hit adjust it. And this is going to move to the second point. Now the point it moves to, this goes in the order. It's in the bed screw section. Now this one I want to go up a little bit. There we go. So that's adjusted. Now I only hit accept when I don't have to adjust a corner. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to put adjust it for that corner. Now I'm going back to the front and let's check this again. And I do need to adjust this. I need to move the point up some. I'm finally getting to corners where I could start saying accept. So I'm going to accept the back right corner. I adjust this back one slightly, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and hit accept here. And hopefully this one will be all right and this one will be all right. If I have to make slight adjustments, I'll just hit accept. That one feels all right, so I'll hit accept. And then last corner, front right. Just adjust that slightly. I'm going to hit accept. So now the corners are all properly leveled. Now what I do is I home and I'm going to run that probe calibrate command one more time because I did adjust all the corners. So in theory, the center of the bed or the Z offset might have changed. So once this finishes probing, I'm just going to type in probe underscore calibrate again. And we're going to probe, it's going to probe the bed and then move the extruder over the probe point. And once that happens, I'm just going to move the bed down again and see how my points, how that center point looks. It still needs to go down some. So let's keep taking this down. It's actually almost perfect. So we're just going to go down one more little bit. I'll hit accept. And then this in my opinion, is leveled pretty good. Now we're going to do our test print. And with our test print, we should be finishing this up. After my test print, I head over to Ellis's print tuning guide. I should point out there's some great examples of how your first layer should look. So that's very helpful. 
And what I do is I use the test prints they have available on this site. Now I have to scroll to find them. So I'm going to go to the test prints folder and then go to first layer patches. And on my slicer, my initial first layer is 0.3 millimeters. So I'm going to download that model. And let's switch over to Orca Slicer and take a look. Start off with, I'm just going to open that downloaded model in Orca Slicer. And you can see it's a single patch in the middle of the bed. Oops, I guess I need to switch over to the CR10 Smart Pro. So it's right in the middle of the bed. I want to right click on that patch and hit clone. And I want to clone it four times. And then what I do is I move each of those patches into the corners. And then have the patch right in the center of the bed. And what this allows me to do is do my test print. I'll check each of these corners. If the corners look funky, I'll adjust the knob on the screws. And if the center is funky, I'll use the baby step function within my web interface. So I'm going to send this to the printer. Now, before I send it to the printer, you should go ahead and clean your bed. I always make sure that the bed is nice and clean before I print to go on the first layer. So that way I'm guaranteed to have the best adhesion as possible. Now, while the printer's heating, I'm just going to point out for the next step, uh, particularly when you adjust the center of the bed, you want to be looking for this section of your mainsail interface or fluid interface, your Z offset. Right now, it's showing the Z offset is zero, meaning there's been no change. And so just be aware of this section. For right now, I'm still waiting for the printer to finish heating. Now, once the printer starts going, what I need to do is check to see if the square is printing appropriately and laying down. And I can tell in this back corner it's not. So I've raised the bed up some. Now in the second half of the print, it did much better. I'm going to raise the bed up here a little bit as well. So I'm just using these test swaths and literally looking at them, making sure they're sticking to the bed and then they look good. Now, initially, the bed needs to be raised up a little bit more. So I'm just now in the front here, again, that's raise it up a little bit. And I'm probably going to need to raise this corner a little bit too. That's okay. So raising the bed is not really an issue. And it looks like as I'm printing these squares, they're looking better and better. The one in the center already looks pretty good. Now, if when it comes to the one in the center, you just want to baby step the bed. So this last square is actually looking pretty good. And I'll pull the squares off so you can see them. And I could probably do another round of adjustments. But right now, this is fairly reasonable, and this is a great first try. So I might want to just run through these again and make some further adjustments. Right now, I think I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm going to start with the one in the back here. And if you look at this, you'll notice the border came off and was not weighing down correctly. But then once it got printing and I raised the bed up, the lines look pretty good. Same holds true for the next tab. The borders look a little funky, but again, raising the bed up via the bed screws. This one, everything looks all right. Maybe I want to move the bed down just a tiny little bit. But overall, that looks good. This one looks pretty good as well. Maybe move the bed down just a tiny little bit. And lastly, the one in the center. Again, looks fairly good. 
maybe needs a little bit of adjustment, but this is how I level the bed. So what you can do is if you've made some adjustments with the bed screws, you can go ahead and reprint that model. It You saw how quickly it is. The, the model itself takes maybe 10 minutes and that's with the printer heating. It's pretty much nothing. It's only doing one layer. So it's doing one layer, again, fairly quick. And as you make adjustments, I just print that again. If the bed gets out of whack uh, down the road, because periodically I find that the bed will get out of level if I move it or move things around on my desk, I just run the patches again. And usually I can just do some adjustments with the screws at the bottom of the bed and get it exactly where I need to go. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'll talk to you again soon.